It was the most expensive and powerful storm to ever make landfall in Atlantic Canada. And it bore down hard and fast on this Newfoundland town. 3 a.m. September 24th, Fiona makes landfall in Nova Scotia as a monster hurricane. It leaves a path of destruction through Prince Edward Island before continuing towards Port of Basque, a low-lying town on the southwestern edge of Newfoundland. The sea is churning. It's over two meters higher than normal with 16 meter waves. Hours later, disaster, the surge that took it all, carrying homes and people with it. Wave after wave battering the shoreline. There's a sudden and panicked evacuation as people flee to higher ground. The next morning, Sunday, the town wakes up to calm seas once again. People emerging from emergency shelters and hotels, surveying the destruction, walking stunned amid piles of debris, the remains of over 100 homes destroyed by the water. One year after Fiona, some people are just starting to rebuild their lives. And the town still bears the scars of this historic storm. A massive recovery effort is still ongoing. People whose homes flooded with seawater find themselves stuck, living with friends and family for months, waiting to find out when and where they can resettle and how they'll afford to do it. Insurance, government aid, donations, a hodgepodge of help. And some people still don't know where they'll end up. The province says it spent $52 million on the storm and its aftermath, the bulk of it, $41.6 million, in payouts to Fiona's victims. The storm damaged dozens of homes beyond repair, others it left too risky to live in. In total, 159 homes gone. This area was one of the hardest hit. Homes used to line this street, now it's empty and it'll stay that way. The land here was taken by the sea, there's nowhere left to build on, and anyone who tries it runs the risk of a future storm tearing everything down once more. It's why even some homes that are still standing will soon be condemned, anyone too close to the water forced to move away, changing the landscape of Port Basque forever. Fiona was a catalyst, a warning for the world about the types of storms and severe weather we can expect now and in the decades to come.